Well, I'm gonna do a quick riddle me this while we're sitting still and the truck ain't moving. Um, I'm in John chapter 20. I want to start reading in verse 19. Uh, this is after, of course, the resurrection. In G, uh, the Bible says, Then the same day at evening, being the first day of the week, when the doors were shut where the disciples were assembled for fear of the Jews, came Jesus and stood in the midst and said unto them, Peace unto you. And when he had so said, he showed them unto them his hands and his side. Uh, then were the disciples glad when they saw the Lord. Then said Jesus to them again, Peace unto you. As my Father has sent me, even so send I you. And this is the verse I want you to pay attention to, verse 22. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and saith unto them, Receive ye the Holy Ghost. <clears throat> My riddle me this. By the way, uh, he breathed on them. And uh, that's... Uh, Genesis when God made uh, made man Genesis chapter uh, 2 and verse 7 and, and the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living soul. So there is something he he made man in the beginning to be a living soul, and he breathed on them when he gave them uh, the Holy Ghost. He breathed on them. I just found that interesting. But then in uh, Acts chapter two where the Holy Spirit comes to indwell the believer. Uh, I'll just start in verse 1. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place, and suddenly there came a sound of heaven, from heaven as of a mighty wind, a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house uh, where they were sitting and there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire notice it's like of fire not fire and it sat upon each of them and they were fi all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance <clears throat> so chapter uh Two of Acts verse 4 it says that they were filled with the Holy Ghost <clears throat> my question is and I believe you know I'm going to give my opinion of course but uh, <clears throat> when did they receive the Holy Ghost was it when he breathed on them it says they received the Holy Ghost and then in Acts chapter 2, it says they were filled uh, with the Holy Ghost. <clears throat> but in Acts chapter 1, verse 8, it says, But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. <clears throat> well, in uh, John chapter 20, verse 22, he breathed on them and they received the Holy Ghost. So, this is my opinion, I want yours. I, I'm, we're just engaging in the Bible here. Is, my opinion is in Acts, uh, John chapter 20, uh, they were, they received 
the Holy Ghost. And in Acts chapter 2 verse 4, they were filled with the Holy Ghost. And evidently there's two different things there. Uh, like you, you have to fill your cup and replenish your cup. Uh, but the only hinky thing is Acts chapter 1 verse 8 but ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you <clears throat> so when did they receive the Holy Ghost and uh, is there a difference between Acts chapter 2 and John chapter 20 uh, did they receive the Holy Ghost in John chapter 20 like they did in the Old Testament or remember David said, Take not thy Holy Ghost from me. Saul lost the Holy Spirit. Uh, so the Holy Spirit came on him and then would leave again. Uh, what's your opinion? Let me know in the comments. Um, and I would also uh, like to make a prayer request for a friend of mine. Her name is Lori. Her son is named Thomas. And he uh, had a a drug overdose and she does not know where he is his kidneys were failing and he went to the hospital but he then he left the hospital uh, so if you would pray for both Lori and Thomas I would sure appreciate it and may the Lord bless each and every one of you guys have a wonderful day and uh, remember to read these books study these books and pray without ceasing <clears throat>